First at 10, that 11 breaking news alert, and tonight a big development in one of the most closely watched cases in state history. Investigators say they have found the body of Suzanne Morphew. She's the Colorado mother who went missing on Mother's Day in 2020. Investigators have not said exactly where her remains were found, but we know it was near Moffitt, Colorado, a town about 40 miles south of where she once lived in Salida. This is video of the town just northwest of the Great Sand Dunes. Just with Within the last 30 minutes, we received a statement from an attorney for the Morphew family, Barry Morphew, Suzanne's husband, and she says, quote, Barry is with his daughters and they are struggling with immense shock and grief after learning today that their mother and wife, whom they deeply love, was found deceased. They've had faith that their wife and mom would walk back into their lives again. The news is heartbreaking. The attorney goes on to say neither the DA nor the authorities notified Mallory and Macy Morphew about the recovery of their mom. 11 News reporter Jared Dean is live at the El Paso County Coroner's Office tonight. And Jared, CBI says that office positively identified Suzanne Morphew's remains today. Yeah, Adam and investigators say they found them while doing an unrelated search in Swatch County. Now this was considered a cold case earlier this year, and it's unclear what the road ahead looks like. Years later, an answer to the question of what happened to Suzanne Morphew is answered. The Colorado Bureau of Investigation isn't providing specifics on where exactly her remains were found, only saying the district attorney from the area has been notified and that no arrests have been made since the discovery. Colorado Springs attorney David Webster tells me although little is known so far, we could see a new step in finding out what happened to Morphew. Now there's a whole host of things that they need to find out or figure out before they can make a determination as to what the cause and what the, what the factual circumstances are. Suzanne's husband, Barry Morphew, was arrested and initially faced charges in 2021, but those charges were dismissed without prejudice last year. Earlier this year, Barry sued prosecutors and several others for allegedly violating his civil rights when he was arrested for a crime his attorneys say he did not commit. If they find evidence that points to him, yeah, it's quite possible he could be charged again. It's just as possible they could find evidence that that drives them away from him and, and indicates to them that this was somebody else. The Chafee County Sheriff's Office is asking anyone who has information about the investigation to call saying there's more questions than answers in her disappearance and death. Now an attorney for Barry Morphew calls him once again and a victim and an innocent man and calls upon authorities to charge the person or persons responsible for Suzanne's death. Live in Colorado Springs, Jared Dean, KKTV 11 News. The case we will certainly continue to follow. Jared, thank you.